down thy boat! Hello everyone and welcome to the Canadian Redneck Channel. My name's Dave. I'm Bailey. And today we got something a little different for you. It's a, a little carpentry project. Um, we get a lot of pallets here. Uh, you know, bulky stuff, bulky parts come in on pallets sometimes and stuff like that. Sometimes we get some odd sized pallets like this uh, long one here. Uh, it's close to six feet. Um, these make a great base for a ground blind. Oftentimes you can get pallets for free around at local businesses. You can use the uh, an oversized pallet for a base, actually a regular sized pallet for one person. Uh, these six footers like this give you lots of room for two people or you know if you're a little bit cozy you can fit three in. Um, but anyway you can use uh, some old pallets, use the two by fours of them, break some of them down, use the two by fours and the boards for building the structure and a pallet for the base. Uh, we'll show you what we did and uh, maybe it's something you can use at home for yourself. Okay, we'll start off with the materials list. As you can see, we've got a pallet here, and we'll use that for our platform. Over here, we have some two befores that we had left over here. Um, we've cut the ones for the front to six feet, the ones for the back to five feet. That way, when it rains, the water will run off. Uh, and then we've got some boards here for putting the structure around. So we'll get started and show you what our process is. We're not going to worry about squares or levels or stuff like that because I don't expect to hang drywall or put cupboards up in this. I'm just going to put tarp around it. So uh, we just kind of hold it as square as we can by eye. Hold it square against the end of the pallet and we should be good to go. Now we'll put our boards along the front. Um, the most important ones are up at the top, and then where our shoe rest is going to be. For us, uh, we measured and found that about 35 inches worked the best for the chairs that we have and so forth in our build. So we'll start with the top one, and then one at 35 inches for our shooting rest, and then fill in from there what we need. We have our basic structure done now. Uh, I'll grab the camera and take a tour around so you can see what we did. So we've got a basic frame up and on the floor we put a piece of plywood for uh, to set our chairs on because the, the slats of the pallet were quite open. You could board it in with boards if you wanted to. Odds the difference. The top has a slant towards the back, so if it rains, the water will run off towards the back and keep us dry. And on the back side, we have a hinge door so we can get in and out. Uh, the last blind I built, I put the door on the end, but I think on the back side will work better because you'll be less visible getting in and out of the blind. On the inside here, we got a, just a good old hook and eye to keep the door from blowing. Then I've got a couple of these cheap $5 tarps from Canadian Tire, and we'll start with our roof and, and wrap a tarp around and so on so it keeps everything uh, dark inside. And uh, 
pick up green ones, and then we'll brush them in with wood. Uh, I'm going to leave the tarps off for now until we get it set in the woods uh, because it's a lot easier to carry. You can get a hold of the boards to carry it and move it around where you need it to go. And then we'll just uh, put our tarps on and brush it in. I hope you've enjoyed our quick demo on how to build a ground blind. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, share. Have a great day.